All right, so today's video is something a little bit different. Today I have for you my first ever collaboration video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Colin, hello. And since 2011, I've been teaching three modeling, animation, special effects, and video game design using two pieces of software, Blender, as well as the Godot game engine. As a known publisher of Godot game engine tutorials, many, many months ago, I was very much flattered that Nathan from the YouTube channel GD Quest reached out to me and asked if I'd like to be a part of a collaboration video among channels that focus on producing content on game dev. That's game development, and in particular in the Godot game engine. So that's what this video is all about. I'd like to take a few minutes and showcase for you six other YouTubers who I think are well worth your time, including one newer channel I was very happy to have discovered thanks to this collaboration. So without further ado, GD Quest. If you've ever searched for Godot tutorial on YouTube, you'll undoubtedly recognize GD Quest's videos from their colorful thumbnails. The creator of GD Quest, Nathan, is one of the top public figures in the Godot sphere, with an absolutely massive library of Godot tutorials, resources, and source code available. Nathan is now actually part of the official Godot team. He's one of the main new contributors for the Godot 3.x and Godot 4 documentation, including written guides and tutorials. Nathan's channel is full of tutorial content for both beginners in Godot, but especially for modern and advanced users. His goal is to help you become the game creator that you want to be, and that really shows. Watching his tutorials, I couldn't help but be impressed by and appreciate his skill and what he's able to do in Godot, especially in some of his more advanced tutorials. GD Quest has plenty of content using other tools as well. Nathan is pretty much a fan of open source and free game dev tools. He has videos on Krita and Blender, including a few Blender Python scripting tutorials, as well as some other videos on scripting and use of technology. One video of GD Quest I think you might find useful is how to use texture atlases in Godot 3.2. You might recognize the little Kenny.nl character sprites from my Godot tutorial platform or series here. The video covers how to actually create in Godot a sprite sheet full of character poses from separate sprite images, making your game more efficient. I'll put a link to this video in the description area below, as well as a link to Nathan's channel. Next up, Game From Scratch. Out of the six YouTube content creators I'm featuring in this video, Game From Scratch is probably the channel I watch the most. Game From Scratch's creator, Mike, puts out videos almost daily. I could really learn a thing or two from him about posting regular content to my channel. Uh, with news surrounding game development, game engine, and related software releases and updates, industry news, and even some tutorials. Want to know what's happening with the development of Godot or Blender or pretty much any other game engine or related software you can think of? Well, Game From Scratch is where I start. If you're interested in exploring different game engines or game development tools, Mike from Game From Scratch covers, well, Godot, Unity, Unreal, Armory, Up BGE, and many, 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 many more. Want to keep up to date on graphics software? Well, Mike has covered, of course, Blender, as well as Tilt Brush, Vox Edit, GIMP, Affinity Designer, and Affinity Photo, and many, many more. Really, Mike from Game From Scratch is largely about championing open source creative tools. Honestly, I wouldn't keep nearly as up to date as I do in what's happening with the development of game creation software as I do without Game From Scratch. And also, when I want to take a larger macro look at the industry, as a whole and other new tools like what game engines are out there in 2021 or what game engines to make games without having to actually write code that is they have some sort of visual scripting are out there these days. Game From Scratch is a resource I'm glad I found years ago that I find essential to what I do. I'll put a link to both Mike's channel Game From Scratch as well as these two videos on screen right now in the description area below. Next up, Ask Game Dev. Like all the creators and channels I'm talking about today, Ask Game Dev is passionate about game development and they're particularly fans of Godot. Ask Game Dev is a team of three game industry veterans who obviously love video games, but also the process of creating video games. Their channel, rather than being software specific tutorials, is a larger, more macro look at the game development industry aimed at those looking to crack into game development as an indie developer, which I'm sure might be 
many of you watching this video. Ask Game Dev's videos are largely in the format of animated explainer videos on how games get made, on different game engines, game development tips, working on a game as a solo creator, best practices of marketing your game, getting a job in the game industry, reviews of development software, and lots more. Ask Game Dev's goal is to help their viewers elevate their games and to inspire their viewers to continue their game development journeys. An Ask Game Dev video I watched recently that I got a lot out of was how to spot a bad indie game publisher. This was an interview with Mike Rose, who's a director at No More Robots, a game publishing label. This video gave me lots to think about regarding publishing a game what to value in a publisher, and things to consider about making a game actually profitable. It's really worth a watch. I'll of course include a link to this video in the description area below, as well as to Ask Game Dev's channel. Next, DevDuck. DevDuck stands out from the rest of the channels and creators I'm talking about today because not only is it by far the youngest channel among us, it was started just over two years ago in January of 2019, but also it's from the perspective of Ben, an indie game developer who chronicles his progress creating indie games in video development logs, as he balances his job as a full-time software engineer along with life, relationships, and a healthy, balanced lifestyle. On this channel, Ben documents his creation of indie games, including an Android iOS game titled Blink, A Bug's Light, as well as a 3D side-scrolling game titled Polar. I actually learned that my Blender tutorials helped Ben learn some Blender basics in modeling, rigging, and animation for the 3D polar bear he created for his game. But most recently, Ben has been working and documenting a larger project, a 2D pixel art RPG exploring ocean-themed game called Dolphin. The game is about a marine biologist who must explore and save the world's oceans and their inhabitants. Interestingly, Ben has gone back and forth between using the Unity game engine and the Godot game engine for his projects, but he has settled on using Godot for his major game project, Dolphin. His latest videos in the project have chronicled different aspects of the game development, including adding an inventory system and different islands to travel to in the game. I actually didn't know about DevDuck's channel until first starting to collaborate with the six YouTubers for this video, but I'm honestly glad I found Ben's channel. I find DevDuck's videos oddly both very relaxing and enjoyable to watch, and extremely inspirational and motivating. Watching him fit making entire games into his life makes me realize that I might be able to do the same thing as well. I'll include a link to one of his videos called The Saturday of a Hobbyist Game Dev so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Next up, Kids Can Code is a channel with quite a lot of similarities to mine, actually. The creator of Kids Can Code, Chris Bradfield, has a background in leading computer coding workshops and after school and summer camps with kids, which is exactly what my background is as well, but in California. And he's also a teacher now, like me. Kids Can Code's central belief is, we think it's never too early to start learning how computers work and how to code, which is something I'm more than happy to echo. And their goal is to be a game development resource great for kids and kids at heart. Chances are, if you like the content that I'm making Godot, you'll get a lot out of his tutorials. Kids Can Code overall is a channel a lot like mine, which focuses on approachable game development software tutorials. In his case, Pygame, which is another game engine, as well as Godot. But unlike with my tutorials, Godot tutorials at Kids Can Code are largely separated into separate recipes, like 3D health bar or car steering or creating a melee character attack, and 3D tank kinematic body movement that you can put together to create your own game. Kids Can Code also has a Godot mini-series of tutorials on creating a simple 2D game titled Circle Jump, which includes videos adding a high scores feature, saving game settings, mobile ads, and a video on Android mobile device testing. Kids Can Code has a website, kidscancode.org, as well as godotrecipes.com. I'll include links to both of these, as well as one of his videos I think you'll like. It's part of his Know Your Nodes Godot series on Particles 2D. Last, but certainly not least, Heartbeast. Heartbeast is a channel created by another indie game developer named Ben, along with his brother Caleb. Their channel focuses on video tutorials in game development, largely in the Game Maker game engine, but more recently, most videos on their channel are in Godot. Like me, Ben focuses on Godot tutorials in project-based miniseries, but also has standalone tutorials, vlogs, and project update videos. 
On Heartbeast's channel, Ben has created a monster training tactical RPG game called Demon Lock, which was a two-month prototype. Ben is still working on this 2D, 3D, uh, 2.5D game in Godot, but also has a newer tutorial series on making an action RPG in Godot, which is, I think, a 22-part series I think you really might enjoy and get a lot out of if you've gone through either of my Godot tutorial mini-series on my channel. I'll include a link in the description below to Ben's first First tutorial part one in creating this action RPG. You might also recognize these tutorial thumbnails of Heartbeasts if you ever searched for Godot tutorial on YouTube, which were Ben's from Godot 3.0. So that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you'll take the time to check out these six amazing YouTubers, each of whom has already created a video like this one on their channel. As always, my name is Colin, and if you haven't already, please take a moment to click on like and subscribe and the bell icons below after you check out those other YouTubers' channels and videos. As always, check out my Facebook and Instagram pages. That's where I post sneak peeks of what I'm working on next and where I communicate with you, my viewers, the most outside of here on YouTube. But that'll be it for this one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.